You know the saying, spring is here and love is in the air. Well, nowadays, it's also online. It is shocking to a lot of people how many people are using it. I mean, 50 million American adults, so basically, all American adults are using online dating. It's now, it's no longer the norm as in-person meeting at a bar or meeting through friends or however people used to meet. It is online dating now. That is how people date. So it's the entire landscape of dating has really changed in the past 10 years. Liberty Vittert is a professor of the practice of data science at Olin Business School at Washington University in St. Louis. I use statistics to understand the world around us and to understand the phenomena that are changing the world around us, specifically in AI and technology. This includes trends of adults using online dating apps, college freshmen too. I had them raise their hands at the beginning of the semester. I said, how many of you are on dating apps? 75% of them raised their hand. Three years ago, not a single one would have raised their hand, even though they were on them. So how many of your guys' friends use apps in order to date versus dating just the normal way of meeting at a party versus being on apps? I would say that the vast majority of my friends are probably on dating sites or if not on dating sites specifically use online or social media to meet new people. And I think for a lot of my friends that's the case being able to just be at home and just like look at whatever people put as their personality online and see if they have a match like that. The truth is at least 50% of college students are using online dating. It's probably more. There's tons of studies, great statistical studies on this, that the big fear, especially amongst young people, is this fear of rejection. So we are seeing this explosion of these dating apps on college campuses, as well as older 20s, 30s, 40s, 70s. As technology advances, AI is playing a role. Vittert says some of the popular dating apps are using it, including Tinder, Bumble, and eHarmony. AI is becoming the modern day matchmaker. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. That's the part that could be a lot for the AI bot. The AI bots are good, but they're not great. I found him! Will you be a lucky bride? He's handsome, he's tall! That is, from side to side. Where they will talk and meet others for you. So I'd be Liberty on a dating app, but I have a bot, an AI bot, that talks to 300 guys at the same time. So it will reduce the 300 guys, you know, Mary would be talking to, down to the 20 that are actually going to meet. All Mary has to do is look at the 20 guys instead of the 300. So it can be a huge time saver. And so then she can focus on those 20 and then do it again. The other reason people are using it is because they don't know what to say. These AI bots are doing it for them. But relationship building with a bot is not ideal. So learning how to spot a bot is increasingly important. If it seems a little off, trust your instinct. Just seems a little bit odd, a little bit weird, doesn't quite make sense. There are a lot of fish in the sea, move on to the next fish because there is a very good chance that that is an AI bot. For better or for worse, online dating with a bot or not may be harmful to some people in ways they may not even be aware. Incredibly harmful, not knowing actually what is real and what is um, false, I guess. Uh, kind of fabricated by this artificial intelligence. If you choose to meet people online, you lack, you lack that human connection that all of us need. It's like one of our, you know, it's in our hierarchy of needs. I think it comes from a place of disillusionment, whether it's like with your close social circles or clubs, like you're meeting people, but like no one's really clicking or like you're not really seeing anything. So it's not that you don't want that in-person interaction or in-person meet cute, but it's just, you're not seeing it.